50th game in charge of Sheffield United women this weekend. Time flies. Uh, how much have you enjoyed it so far? How do you reflect on, on the first 49 games? Oh, yeah, I've, I've enjoyed it immensely. I think the, um, I think the girls have, have done tremendously well. I think that I think within that short space of time, I think we've witnessed the league come on you know, in, in leaps and bounds. I think if you look at the league now, um, even to last season, you know, it's the full-time teams that are in it and you know, the, the, the quality of players that have dropped down from the, t the top flight, it's, it's a really good standard of football. And I think the girls have done themselves proud competing in it. Yeah, and like you say, it, it's evolved a lot since you were last in the women's game. It's evolved yeah. a lot whilst you've been in at Sheffield United as well compared to last season. H how much has it evolved for you in terms of the challenge of taking this team forward and, and over the last 18 months? Just how quickly the league has changed. Yeah, it has. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously the, the you know the the, the the fact that more sides are full time. Um, minutes on the grass are really key. You know, talking about developing players and, and, and bringing players on. Um, you know, you, they, they they have the advantage of that. I think that obviously the you know the financial side of things to be able to put, bring people in and put them on full time contracts. I think that's key. Um, but I think to be fair to us, I think we've 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 managed it quite well. You know, I think we've. I think we've improved as a group. We, you know, we took a big hit in the summer. A lot of players left. Obviously, all the part-time clubs are, are, are going to be, you know, looked at as, you know, where clubs can go and get better players. And that happened to us a little bit. Um, but I thought we recruited well. I thought the girls that have been here have adapted really well to it. Um, you know, and since probably the, the turn of the year, we've really found his feet. You know, and I think we've shown some consistency. So, you know, it's it's been good. It's the longest spell that you've had in the women's game, has it? Matched expectations, exceeded expectations. Your time here. Um, it, it, obviously, the, the improvement of the game has, has, has been really good to witness. You know that was been, has been the key point. Um, you know, from when I was at Donny Bell's, I thought the standard was good. Um, obviously, no one nowhere near as good as it was now. And um, you know, we won the league that year. You know, by ten points, which is you know a lot. Um, and then obviously the Liverpool. Um, you know, they were in transition, in flux. That wasn't right, you know, f for myself, I thought. But, um, you know, looking at Sheffield United and how they do things, um, this always appealed to me because it's a good club, it's well run, you know, from the men's right to the women's team to the academy. Um, so it's a good place to, you know, to, to work as a coach and a, as a manager. And I think that, um, like I said, I've enjoyed my time and, I, like I said, I think the girls have improved um, no end. You said when you came in you were going to give chances to young players. I think it's probably a dozen or so teenagers that have made debuts. Obviously Lucy Watson the main one in terms of a first team regular. But how excited have you been by, by the club's young players? And, and how excited are you by the fact that we haven't really seen anywhere near the best of, of so many of them yet? We've seen glimpses of Tilly, Tamara, Charlie, etc. But there's so much more to come from them all. Yeah, the, and the chaffing at the bit at the moment, you know, they're just bubbling underneath um, just, just nicely. Um, you know, I think we, we, the game that comes up on on Sunday, there's a good chance we're going to have the vast majority of the bench is going to be young players. Um, so out of the nine, there's probably going to be eight on the bench, which for any academy or RTC or whatever you want to call it, is a phenomenal achievement. You know, and the people within, you know, the RTC setup have have, have got to take great credit for that. You know, from you know, from, from Richard Meeks to, to Sean, to Sean Erd, to all the coaching staff. Fantastic achievement because these players are getting in and around our first team and, you know, like you said, they've come off the bench, they've proved that they, they, they can compete. You know, Tilly came on and did really well on uh, Tilly Taylor on, on Sunday. Um, and it's good for us because it, it gives us our, that identity. You know, they're our players, um, you know, and it just shows, you know, what they're capable of. How much have you enjoyed the challenge as well of getting to know, you know, the, the, the more established players as well, the senior players? Because there weren't many here that you would have worked with before at the start, but those that have become, you know, those those regular players now for you, the Cashes, the Maddies, Reemers, etc., players like that, that have just that you've struck up such a good working relationship with now and, and really got to know them as players. Yeah, and I, and I think that you, you, your senior ones, it's you know, the the relationship more is, is more about the person. You know, than the footballer. That you know, you roughly know what you're going to get with with the footballer because you do your background. And um, but it's getting to know the the people, the person. And um, you know, we've got some really good people. You know, really good girls that want to go on and, and be better. You know, they're driven. They want to take this club to the next level. You know, and they're always pushing. You know, and at times I've you know you you've sort of got to give them a little bit of um, you know balance to to what their thoughts are about you know where we should be and where we can get. Um, 
but they're driving this club forward, you know, and they set the standards and they've been they've been superb this season, you know, and for young players coming into that sort of environment, it's brilliant. We've only got four games left this season, obviously. The, the time goes very, very quick. What are you what's your hopes for, for next season in, in terms of twelve months time when we're stood here where, where you'd like the team to be? Well I'd like to try and keep keep the group together if I can. That that's the first aim. You know, I want to try and keep as many of us together as we can because, you know, I, I wanna build. I don't wanna you know, I don't want a season like last season where we're losing fifteen. Um, it's too many. Um, but if we can keep the group of the girls together or, or, or the or the or the you know, the, the the backbone of the side together because we've got really good experience and they've got good experience together and I think it's really important, particularly in the championship. You know, if you look at Durham they've done something similar where, you know, they've kept a group of players together for quite a long time now and they've predominantly been at the top of the league or round about the top of the league each season. Um, so I think that there's a lot of my work and, and other coaches' work have gone into these girls, you know, and I don't want to lose that. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to waste that. It's important that we keep these girls and you know, and, and add some quality to it so it helps the girls that are here.